Well, hello everybody. It's wonderful to see all of your smiling faces. Today we're going to be making a coil pot, and it's real easy to do. First, when you get a chunk of clay, you're going to notice how sticky and slimy and messy it is, and it's going to get all over your hands. Get over it. We'll wash later. Next, once you've got a big old turd of clay, tear a chunk off. Notice to tear a chunk off, what I did, I didn't just pull it, and that kind of just stretches things. Instead, I twisted and pulled. So for starters, pull off a chunk and put it in your hand. Put your other hand on top and roll in circles to make a ball. We're doing this in our hands, not on the table, because our hands are not flat like the table is. The table is flat, and so if you roll in circles on the table, then you tend to get um, pointy edges on your circle, on your ball, on your sphere. Uh, whereas if we roll it in our hands, your hand, especially you know, if you cup your hand like this, you got nice round hands to make a nice round ball. Okay, now um, you might be wondering what part of the coil pot a ball is going to be for. Well, it's going to be for the bottom, for the base. What we're going to do is we're going to smash it with a hammer. We're going to flatten it. Now, we want it to be nice, even thickness. Right now, you can tell that like this part is thicker and this part is thinner. So what I'm going to do is, with flat crab claws, pinch at it until uh, I feel like it's an even thickness. It should look pretty much like a little cookie. Nice even thickness. And you want it to be about as thick as a pencil. About as thick as a pencil. The thickness of a pencil. There we go. We're going to set that aside and we're going to tear off another chunk of our clay. And this time we're going to roll a coil. Now to roll a coil, instead of in circles, we're just going to go forward and backward. Notice how I'm going long forward and backward strokes. If you just go like little wiggle wiggle wiggles, then you're going to end up flattening it. And it'll just be like, you know, like, like you can already tell it's flattened that way compared to that way. So um, we don't want, we don't want to just go wiggle, 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 wiggle. It'll just get flattened. We want to go full on forward and backward and you notice it makes a wormy shape. Now, once it gets too long to fit in your hands to roll out, you lay it flat on the table. We've got a nice uh, canvas covered tablecloth here uh, so that it won't stick to the table. And Again, nice long rolls. You don't want to just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You want to roll nice long rolls. And I'm putting my fingers down wherever it's too thick. At this point, the whole thing is about the thickness of a pencil, so I want to stop. I want to set that aside. I want to tear off another chunk. I'll roll it between my hands. When I roll it on the table, I'm putting my hand wherever it's thickest, putting my fingers wherever it's th too thick, and rolling it there. Okay, and we'll use up the whole rest of our clay to make a bunch of coils. Roll it out in your hands first, then roll it out on the table. And don't try to do too big of a chunk all at once. If the coils get too long and they break, sometimes they'll break while you're rolling them, that's fine. We don't need them to be super, super, super long. We want them, it's the thickness we're worried about. We want the thickness of a pencil, okay? In fact, a pencil is another tool that we're gonna use. Normally we would use um, some kind of a nice clay tool. 
like this. Uh, this is a plastic clay tool. You can get metal versions um, or Here's another one with different shaped ends. Uh, but I find that for beginners, it's easiest to use materials that you know and understand and that you already have a good feel for. So I'm just going to use a pencil. And it really doesn't even matter if the tip is broken, as long as you have a pointy end because for the next step, what we need to do is scratch the surface of the clay. Wherever we're gonna connect two pieces together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up layers of these coils that wrap around the edges like this. And the, the more coils you add, the taller your coil pot will become. All right, makes a little cup. But if I just add this on top of here, you might think, oh, well, you know, this clay is clearly it's sticky. It's getting all over my hands, right? And so if I just put that on there, it's stuck and it's not coming off, right? But the problem with that thought is that clay is not sticky. This right here is mostly dry. And right, if I put this on here, it just falls off. It's not sticky, okay? So the problem is, once this coil dries, it's just gonna fall off. So before I can attach it, I need to do something called score and slip. To score the clay, I'm just gently scratching around the edges where the two pieces are gonna connect, scratching the surface, but not poking all the way through. That's called scoring the clay. Then, I need to refill my water cup because I ran out. Hold on just a second. This water looks a little bit messy because this cup has been, um, you know, had clay fingers in it. But just plain water would do too. Notice that I'm sticking one fingertip into the water. I'm getting a droplet of water on my fingertip and then rubbing that droplet of water into those grooves that I just made. This makes a nice shiny slip which acts like glue to glue the two pieces of clay together. One finger at a time. If I go stick all of my fingers in there it's just everything is going to get too slimy. I do want this little part to be slimy and slippery, but I don't want everything to be slippery and slimy and I don't want slippy slime all over my fingers, all over my hands. Just one fingertip that gets really gross. The rest of my hand is pretty dry. Anyway, then I take one of my coils and I wrap it around and this one happens to be a little too short. See, there's a piece missing, there's a gap. Uh, that's okay. I can just take one of my other coils here and pinch off a piece that fits in that gap and push it together. What if your coil is too long? Well, we'll see that next. Okay. Well, can I take another coil and just add it on top of here? No, because I haven't scored and slipped. Every time you add another layer, you need to score the top of the of this layer to put before you put another layer on top the scoring what it does is it makes little grooves that fill with slip and act like um, suction cups and then the slip acts like glue or cement it really literally is cement again let me zoom in here a little bit closer while I slip the so you can see a little better. One fingertip into the water, rubbing it in to those grooves, making it slimy and slippery and kind of nasty feeling. It feels like glue. 
It feels like you're getting your hands covered in glue. Because you literally are. This is cement is what this is. Okay. Now, if your next coil is too long, this coil is too long, what I'm going to do is wrap it around until I've got it on top of the, you know, area where I've scored and slipped. And then I could just pinch it, or if I need to, I can use my pencil to kind of slice it like a knife. And make sure you kind of press down each, each time you add another layer. You don't, you don't want to squish everything, but you want to give it a good press. So just like if you're gluing paper together, you want to give it a little press to make sure everything gets pressed together. And as I said, the more and more layers you add, the taller and taller your cup will become. And eventually, you'll have something sort of kind of like this.